At six, a disturbing find. Pictures show what looked like syringes thrown away near a playground. So what should you do if you come across something like this? Yona Gavino live in Milwaukee with more on this. Yona? Yeah, Steve, right now, if we take a look around, you can see things look a lot different. No sign of any used syringes or dirty needles out here. However, I talked to the woman who posted the photos online. She says she saw them here. She walks through this area with her nieces and nephews every day. This is the picture that raised eyebrows, concerns, and prompted a swift city cleanup. It shows what appears to be used syringes and needles. The woman who posted the photo says she counted at least 12 of the needles. Neighbors say this used to be a garage for this house, now boarded up. It steps away from this playground, often packed with kids. Phil Fox's grandkids Matthew and Angel played, unaware of the mess that lurked across the street just yesterday. I'm surprised to see that, so, so close to all these kids. It's also close to signs like this that warn people not to litter. Fox is concerned for kids who come out here and for whoever's behind the mess. I think they, they need to go get some help <laughs> off the top. And secondly, I am afraid of neither myself. We showed the picture to Alderman Bob Donovan. He called the health department after he found out. It's disgusting. And uh, we deserve better, quite frankly. And these constituents deserve better from an administration. They're paying good money in taxes for police protection and to get this garbage, this poison, off of our streets. And it's not happening. A spokesperson reviewed the pictures and said staff inspected the site and found no needles or syringes, only ink pens and other debris. Neighbors who live nearby believe there were dirty needles. They say the mess has been there for weeks. DPW also today telling me in an email that they have asked Milwaukee police to check the area more frequently for any possible drug activity. In the meantime, if you happen to see any medical waste like syringes or needles around Milwaukee, you're urged to call 286 City. Live in Milwaukee, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. Yona, thank you.